So I'm out here on the rugged northwest tip of Vancouver Island. I'm out here with my two friends. We're doing some exploring in Cape Scott Provincial Park. We're beaten, battered, bruised by the trails. We've been exploring big beaches. Big beaches, rumbling through the jungle, old growth forest. So follow along with us as we go through this little expedition here. Yeah, perfect. Okay. One, two, three, go! Oh, oh, oh shit! Hey, you're supposed to go when you say go. Ah, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I wonder if it would have been worse without that stick. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for this? So we're out here at Cape Scott, the trailhead. You already got warnings, there's bears in area. We're about to head to San Joseph Bay for the night. Should be about an hour. I'm here with my buddy Derek, my buddy Jesse, and uh, we're about to hit the trail. Sex on the beach. Jesse, you better be right beside me. There you go. Here. And we'll go Cape Scott. And... Stay Scott. safe. It's stretchy. Oh, I'm here. Wear them the whole time. But you look cool in them too. No, I don't. You look like you're about to go uh, catch some crap. Yeah, I look like an idiot. Oh, fuck, dude. Good Derek. start. Is that me? Make a big grunt. <laughs> oh, that must be heavy. <sighs> this is the trail. I'm taking my sandals out. <laughs> so that's where we're headed tomorrow. Dude, it's uh, what does it say, 15k? It says 1.7 to San Joseph, and Nissan Bite is 14.2, so we're gonna be like 16.9. 16 point, 16 Sweet. Nice. That's a full day. Well, nice. I saw the B E A R. Well, I've got this right here. The I'm what? B E A R. Okay. And I'm walking that way, and then this big motherfucker just started walking towards me. I'm like, backing up, and it's following me. Does it look big? Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's pretty big. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's pretty big. Look at that. Oh. You want to record me reading it? Following the collapse of the first. <laughs> I don't actually want to do this. So, why is this this color? What color? The wood? No, no, the water. Ooh. Oh. 
That's deep, but I think I'm good. So, this week, that is the bear trap. Bunch of them. The rock? Let's go to the beach. Okay, so we're just at San Joseph's Bay. It's pretty epic. It's windy. Last night there was like a 100 k an hour winds. 110. 110. Ripping off the coast. So wherever windy day, sun's out. And uh, the weather forecast looks pretty good. So hopefully more of this. So we got sea stacks. I think we just had high tide like an hour ago. Pretty fucking rad. This place is pretty rad though. A little surge channel in here. find somewhere to pitch our tent. Find eight, it was a little soggy, so we're gonna move back down the beach, see what we can find. Maybe explore more, who knows, cook dinner. <laughs> Sweet little cave. Big cave, actually. I think the... I just hate caves. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna fall. Good morning. So it is now day two. We got a big day ahead of us. Should be like 16, 17K. We're gonna head up towards Nissan Bite. And it should be a pretty exciting section of the trail. There's, I guess we're gonna walk through a Danish settlement. We're gonna walk past old Danish settlement. We're gonna walk past the lake, probably through some old growth forest. So that should be pretty exciting. I don't know if you can see way out in the distance. Jesse and Derek just went that way in chase of water. We got camp, fairly well packed up. The sun is out-ish. So I think today's gonna be a good day. So providing they have water, we're gonna, I guess they're gonna cook some coffee up and we're gonna have a little bit of a breakfast and then we're gonna head out, hit the trails, hit the trail and uh, keep this trip moving. Should be a good day. Wow, 
Sard is breaking up the map again. Hey man, you gotta be prepared. Where are we going? The only fucking trail. Stop to take a break. D Lair. Sun's coming out. Some <laughs> stairs. Derek's looking jacked. Me too. <laughs> slipped and fell on this bridge that is clearly broken so i gotta take a shot of tequila we all gotta take we a all shot gotta take a shot that's the rule we're 7.4 k in and we had our first fall tequila <laughs> limoncello and what's the last triple thing? sec triple sec, sec. Ugh. no lime right now no lime. Well, that was scary, but uh, glad I survived. All right, seven point four k in. I feel like we are making, still making good way. Good making. Uh, I don't know. Seven point four of our sixteen k day. Yeah, and you can see Derek's skid mark right there, all the way to over there. Almost and in the crevasse. Almost, and right here. <laughs> almost <laughs> fell to his death. Skid marks there. I don't know, I don't know, a fucking stick in the eye over here. A little gun shy. <laughs> you say country road, West Virginia. <laughs> Take me home, baby. Where I belong, California. Yeah, that's. I think that's there. <laughs> Get a good shot there. Yeah, it doesn't look very fresh though. Put that on the trailer. <laughs> Crossing the Fisherman River. Looks east hip. I think we're gonna take a break here, have some snacks, have some lunch, and uh, dry myself off. What are you guys doing for lunch? Bagel, pepperoni. I'm gonna have some salami. That That's pretty rad. Sick moves, bud. Sick moves. Shit, right over there. Walnut, my other favorite nut. This one here is your favorite? Yeah. We're at 10. 
Twinkle toes. <laughs> Strong enough. Oh, oh man. Stick? Uh, we'll just see what happens. Where did you step from here? Uh, onto that stick by that sh stick thing sticking up. Hey, can you pick up one of those rocks and throw it in the middle? Uh, yeah, maybe. Without splashing us? <sighs> Too heavy? Oh. Yeah, fuck it. Just, just give her. Can't, can't wreck the trail, dude. I came out on that stick and landed here. Hmm. Hey, you know what, Derek? Uh, I believe in you. I believe in me too. I just want to like, hook a sneaker and get fucked up. Um, fuck, I kind of want to go like right here. Yeah, perfect. Okay. One, two, three, go! Oh, oh, oh shit! Hey, you're supposed to go when you say go. Ah. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Without that stick. <laughs> <laughs> so, food? Some wire. Big old chain. Oh, we got a nice big sign up here. Yeah. You are in wolf country. 2K to Nissan bite. Yeah, I thought it was 1.7. I feel like these signs are. 1.7. One. Oh, <laughs> 0.85 about. <laughs> All right. Stay wrong? safe and have fun. Where? Oh. This is the descent to the beach, if you ask me. So I'm absolutely beat right now. I think we're closing in less than a K to go, but I am done. I kind of thought this was gonna be a little flatter, a little easier, but that was, that was honestly a pretty gnarly trail. It was rough, it was very muddy, slippery, a lot of like big steps, trying to dodge puddles. I definitely need a snack. Yeah, snack, a little rest, maybe a little smoke. Yeah, <sighs> I will be glad to see the beach. The sun is shining, so it's gonna feel great to be there. Your GoPro malfunction. I think I got it figured out now, at least on the one GoPro. But uh, we're just kicking it here. We are absolutely beat. That trail is no joke. We were pretty frustrated, and then when we got here, we retreated to find out the water was far down this coast. As you can go, you have to walk all the way down and then through a trail. And we we're sitting there in the cold, sitting waiting for the grab to filter to feed out, and we were. We are three bitter men. <laughs> but uh, we're here now. We're just kicking it. Have a fire. Get blown in the wind. And uh, just enjoy the rest of the night. The beach is crazy.
What did you think of the hike today? Well, every step was a struggle. <laughs> now I feel like dew hanging off a tulip. <laughs> I'm ready to drop. Okay. That's how that hike was. That sounds about right. work on the fire. It's a pretty sweet spot. I love driftwood. Yeah. I love driftwood fires. Totally. Does water look colorful to you? Mm, it's hard to tell. I don't think it's clear. It's not clear. <laughs> Are we gonna die? No. Or get sick? So the like the pathogens come out way before the colors do. But I've drank some pretty brown water, and uh, it was fun. But it fucks with your head. Because oh, you feel like it will, if it goes to your filter, it should come out crystal clear. But it doesn't. Pretty sweet sunset to end the day. Sour day, it's good. <laughs> it's sour day. Sour day. It's kind of sour. You two got sour at each other for a bit. That yeah, fuck there. <laughs> Down by the watering hole. Leave the fucking GoPro on my face. <laughs> Beast, fucking epic. Trying to get a fire going. Get a hike. We got a hike. Like 10, maybe 11 minutes. Get the bear cache in the outhouse. I'll definitely be using this morning. And I start a fire for the guys. In case they wake up pretty quick here. This is uh, morning, day three. What do you say about the stars? Best stars I've ever seen in my life. Last night. I thought it was amazing. I concur. It was amazing. I didn't see shit. Because he was sleeping.
Did it work? Yeah, oh, I felt a little bit of a pop. You gotta thrust more. <laughs> so we're at the final stages. We're packing up. These guys are packing up behind me. So the plan of attack is we're gonna head to the woods over the next beach. I think it's called Fisherman's Bay. We're gonna explore the uh, tide line at low tide. And then we're gonna hit it. We're gonna head to Nell's Bite because it should be 6.2 or something like that kilometers. And we're all beat after yesterday, so we want a little bit of a smaller day. So we're gonna check next door, head to Nell's Bite, go through the Danish settlement, and uh, hopefully it'll be a more enjoyable hike than yesterday. Yesterday was definitely type two fun, so we're hoping for a little bit of type one fun along the way today. Yeah, I, I just can't get over this place. This place is so rad, it's so big. Surf feels like we're in Mexico. I've never been to Mexico. Feels like we're in Mexico. A little chilly, but uh, unbelievable. We go mud to start the trail for the day. I totally ate shit here yesterday, just on the other side of the puddle. Uh, like that's almost it's a little bit smaller than that. You know, we got the biggest slugs on earth. Like as humans? Oh, uh, BC. Oh. <laughs> Did they get bigger than that? Well, that thing was big, and then it, was, it, was it probably got cold and shrunk up. Looks like it got cold. Must have been in a pool. <laughs> All right, fishermen, it's bay. It's not as sandy, but it's pretty epic in its own right. This is where we thought the campsite was yesterday. So we hiked down and we were like, dang, no beach. And then we realized that it was just next door. So check these tide pools. So we officially have our first bear sighting on the other side of the beach there. It's probably gonna be super small on the GoPro, but go over by our packs and make some noise maybe. Coming this way. Anyway. And a Japanese buoy. Sea sponge. Sea sponge. It's actually one of your early ancestors. I look kind of like it. Yeah, this was like one of the first multicellular uh, organisms on the planet. It's pretty rad.
apparently it's all flat, so it's gonna be really nice. Did those guys say that? No, I'm just saying that right now. I think there should be some sort of ruins back there. Probably this school here. Oh, look at that camshaft. Nice. Connect, oh, and those little connecting rods right here. Like that's from a little motor. Yeah. Crazy. Little two cylinder. Yeah. Today, a moss covered mound of rotting planks is all that oh. remains of this structure. Guys, I this, feel like I've this seen is it an before. old sewing machine. That's what I was thinking. It looks like an old sewing machine. They would have had to make all their own shit, right? Yeah. Big old plow here. Or whatever. I said plow, but then I was like, I think it's part of a plow. But maybe oh, this yeah. is yeah, a yeah. plow. This piece, the yeah, second piece is missing. Yeah. And then that attaches. Like it's pulled by a donkey or some shit. Yeah. And we're in the uh, area which I guess is probably uses grazing lands for the settlement. There's a big dike down there somewhere. We're not going to bother going, but it's totally different scenery than we've had this whole trip. So that's kind of cool, but onwards to the beach. This is so nice. Trail's a lot more, trail's a lot better today, I'll say. And it's to me a lot more interesting and nicer. So I'm uh, I'm quite happy right now. Make sure I look like a fucking real piece of shit. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. Is that glamorous? Yeah. Oh, oh man, what a real man. I was the test dummy. I would never have done that. Nice work, everyone. That's why you have two hands. Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> spot to camp. There's some pre-made little wind shelters. Looks like a little charcuterie board. A couple more, one there, a little further along. I think there's a ranger cabin just down there and the water source, so just picking it out. But uh, another <laughs> absolutely epic beach out here on the wild northwest tip of the island. Unreal. Unreal. Here's the old tour. Got a sleeping bag, mattress, inflatable pillow. Every one of my possessions that isn't food, 
or like utilities over back by the fire. And that's uh, where I sleep. There's a Cape Scott special. Sandy water. Vodka. Got some Mio Sport. Lemon lime. And a noon tab. Strawberry lemonade. There we go. Jesse just called a sardine. Hi, chili. When I make the video, I'm gonna do a voiceover. Like this guy, fucking eating sardines. Nobody eats sardines. Sure. I know. You guys are eating crackers and cheese. What do you think is gonna like get me through this night? Yeah. Fucking sardines, man. I'm the fat guy, and I'm talking shit about what you're eating. I'm not doing that. That's crazy. Attacked by a bird. So we left. We put all our stuff in the bear cache. And my dry bag got totally messed with. Is that your sardine garbage? Yeah. Do I got a little bag on here? We got a little bag. It either got attacked by a bird or some sort of larger animal. But I'm oh, glad we... definitely a bird. We got a peck mark in it. We're good. Okay. I definitely feared bear. <laughs> morning so today is day four it is saturday and i think we're gonna head back to san joseph bay for the night we kind of originally had rough plans of maybe pushing it further down and exploring experiment bite geist bay and then coming back here but realistically with how long it took us and how strenuous that the hike in is we kind of realized that we weren't going to be able to drive all the way back to Nanaimo slash weren't going to want to. So we're just going to... Oh. And uh, so yeah, we, didn't, we just weren't going to be able to push through after that hike. So we're going to hike back to San Joseph. So make the hike, make it a little t short 2K walk before the drive. So that's it. We're going to pack up. We're going to head out of here. And uh, yeah, pick you up at San Joseph. We covered that trail, so I'll probably film a little bit less, but who knows how that goes. Something exciting might happen, but we're soaking it in. San Joseph's a, a really nice beach, so we're not missing out, to be honest with you. you excited for the hike? Yeah, I am, actually. Okay. Nice and misty. Right? I like that positive energy. Yeah, you like the mist? Yeah. It's like on one hand, it's like kind of ugly and like, sad 
but, but it's, it's like cool, nice, and uh, it's different. It's the North Coast. Exactly. It's true North Coast. It's not supposed to be sunny. No. I think it like Bender from Futurama. Eight forty nine. It's pretty good. Then we say we wanted to get out of here for nine. Something like that. Feel like a Navy SEAL, but not at all like a Navy SEAL. Hey man. Hey. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That scene is going to be the most pathetic one in the video. Descent. And I couldn't be more thankful. I'm so done. <laughs> We're starting off the adventure. Today is Wednesday, March 19th. This and, is only half. Uh, this is only one K. No. Oh, no, <laughs> Fuck out of here. Is it on a timer? No, it's a video. It's a video, but we want to get a pose in. Gotta see the one. Oh shit. Gotta see the one. One K left. Is that good? Yeah, I was sucking the middle of the as fuck. Victory. 
that way? I mean, depending on what you guys want, like you kind of get the river instead of ocean. But as far as wind goes, you think the wind is the same over there? Plenty of before. Yeah. So what I say. Uh, Jesse, so and, Jesse and Derek were happy, were kind enough to walk back to the Jeep and get my ice cold. <laughs> They're pretty cold. White Claw ice teas. Awesome. So there's no better way to end this trip. That was a quality trip, boys. Cheers, boys. On the beaches and friends. Cheers. We also picked up 10 liters of water and some shots. Sex on the beaches, actually. <laughs> Sweet. So that's it. That's the end of this episode. Cape Scott Provincial Park, four days. Checking out the beaches. Peace. I don't know it. Peace out. SRTB! Sorry, Jake, for life. Well, we got a little bit of bonus coverage. A bit of a windstorm blowing in. So we set up our tents. Jesse's full hunkered down. And uh, we're gonna see, see what it brings. I feel like there's gonna be more wind, but. Hard to say if there's going to be rain. It does look threatening, so we'll see. Final day, so worst case, we hightail it out in the morning. <laughs>